Aisha radiallahu anha, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu she shares with us a very personal moment in her life. She says, one day I, with, I was with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and he was in a cheerful mood. So I said to him, Ya Rasulullah, make dua for me. So he said, Allahumma khfir li Aisha. Ma Allah forgive Aisha. Ma tafaddama mi dhambiha wa ma ta'akhar. And he continued, Oh Allah, forgive Aisha. All her sins, the past sins, the future sins, the ones that she commits in private and the ones that she commits in public. And Aisha was so happy that she started to laugh. So the Prophet ﷺ asked her, did that da'a please you? Brothers, I want you to imagine that you were living at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. And he was your best friend. And you asked him, make dua for me. And he made the same dua for me. How happy would you be? So he says to Aisha, did that dua please you? She says, Ya Rasulullah, how could not, that not please anyone? He says, Wallahi, by Allah, inna hadha da'wati li ummati fi kulli salah. He says, by Allah, that is the same dua I make for my ummah in every single one of my prayers. Prophet ﷺ made that same dua for me. How much did the Prophet ﷺ love us? He would cry in front of the Sahabi. He would cry and he would say, I miss my brothers, the ones that I love. And they would say, Ya Rasulullah, aren't we your brothers? He would say, no, you are my companions. But my brothers are the ones that will come after me. And they will believe in me. And they would never have seen me. This is you, brothers. The Prophet ﷺ is crying. Because he misses you. He would stay the night praying to Allah, crying out to Allah, my ummah, my ummah, ummati, ummati. The Prophet is crying for you. When was the last time you cried for the Prophet? The Prophet would give khutbah and he would lean on a tree as he would give the khutbah until they built him the mimbar. The following week, standing on this mimbar, the companions would say, we heard the tree crying like it was a little baby. The tree was crying because it missed Rasulullah If this tree, brothers, this tree which is not a living thing, is not obligated to love Rasulullah, was crying because it missed Rasulullah. Another people who say Muhammad is Rasulullah, are we not more worthy to cry for missing him than this tree? Are we not worthy? The companions, Companions will sacrifice so much. When the Prophet ﷺ passed away, and Bilal, the one who would call the Adhan, he could not do it anymore. He would sit in the Prophet's mosque, and he would imagine looking at the house of Aisha, where it was the grave of the Prophet ﷺ, and he would imagine the Prophet walking across the Rawdah and saying to Bilal, Arihna biha ya Bilal. Comfort us with us, with it, ya Bilal. Make the adhan for prayer. And so Bilal could not stand living in the city of Medina without Rasulullah Every street, every corner, every rock, everything would remind him this is where the Prophet was. So he leaves the city, as many companions did, going for jihad. And too many years later, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory to the Muslims in Jerusalem, and the Sahaba would be reunited for the first time in so long since the death of the Prophet. And they would see Bilal, who had not given Adhan for six years. And they would say to him, Ya Bilal, nana. Make, make Adhan for us just one last time. And he would say, Fa'adurin, please, I can't, it's too painful. They would say, please, they ask Umar, Umar, Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, please speak to him. Until Umar spoke to him and he agreed. And say, Bilal would get up to make this Adhan. The first time since the death of the Prophet And he would call the Adhan the memories, the sweet times, the fragrance of the Rasulullah, his warmth, his compassion would come back to the Sahaba and they would all cry. Could you imagine Umar crying like a little child? And Bilal would struggle through the Adhan and he would continue until he would get to the part in the Adhan, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, until he would break down and cry and he could not continue. 
many years later when Bilal was on his deathbed, dying, and his wife would say to him, what sorrow, what sorrow, he would say, no, what happiness, what happiness, what joy, for tomorrow I will be with the one that I love, I will be with Muhammad How many of us cry for Rasulullah? How many of us love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Like the way he should be loved. Oh uh -huh.